Hello guys, good morning. Hi. Uh, we shall uh, discuss now how to bypass the IAN that is inferior alveolar nerve during the placement of the basal implants in the molar area. We can bypass it or lateralize this IAN through two methods that is one is through lingual bypass that is your adult starts from the buccal and it goes towards the lingual side another one is the buccal bypass wherein your adult starts from the lingual and it goes towards the buccal side so uh, can you see this piece of mandible i'll just show you just a second so this is your mandible, piece of mandible you are in, this is your ridge and this is your uh, lower border and this uh, inferior alveolar nerve passes here, somewhere uh, in the middle, IAN passes here, okay, so and this is your ridge, okay, uh, fine, so When you are going to place an implant in the molar area, you should be careful since there is a mandibular canal there. You cannot injure the mandibular canal. If you are going to injure, if there is an injury to the mandibular canal, there will be paresthesia for the patient, which may, paresthesia may stay for a few weeks to few days or sometimes few months, few years. It depends on the kind of injury. Okay. So we are not going to injure, we are not supposed to injure, there should not be any kind of injury to the mental foramen area, the mandibular canal area, okay, you should be careful. That's why we are going to bypass that IAN in the molar area to place the implant. So it's a simple technique, so when you are going to place an implant in the first molar area, if you want to uh, bypass IAN lingually you have to drill from the buckle towards the lingual so I'll show you here uh, this is your uh, mylohyoid prominence this is your mylohyoid prominence and uh, below that there is a depression okay this can you see I hope visibility is less Still, still, can you? Right. This is your mylohyoid prominence. This is mylohyoid ridge, and below that area is the depression. The area between the mylohyoid ridge and this depression is the good area. That is the area suitable for your implant placement. That is the area you must perforate the mylohyoid bone there so, so that should be the technique you start from for your lingual bypass you have to start drilling from the buccal oh, angulate can you see wait a moment okay fine start from the buccal can you see so i'm starting from the Buccal, I'm going going towards the mylohyoid ridge there. So it's angulated, it's not straight. I have angulated this. Okay, I'm going towards the mylohyoid ridge now. Okay, start drilling. I have perforated the mylohyoid ridge now. Can you see? Can you see here? The drill has come out of the ridge. That means I have perforated the myeloid prominence or the ridge. It is from the buccal side. This I am showing the lingual area, lingual portion. I have perforated this myeloid ridge. So below that is the depression. This area is suitable for your implant placement. If you can understand, 
and it's angulated to some 35 to 40 degrees. So this is the drill. Take out the drill now. Take out. So finished your drilling now. Okay. Now we'll place the implant there. Okay. the buccal surface from the buccal this is the lingual see the hole here can you see so we'll just place an implant from the buccal towards the lingual which we'll do it now Can you see? It's perforated, and the implant, the tip of the implant, has come out of the ridge. Can you see? So this is perfect placement. Means only one or two threads. I mean, when you perforate, you will come to know with your uh, finger. You will feel the perforation. So this is the perfect perforation. Okay, so this is the way you lingually bypass mm -hmm. IAN. Okay, uh, since this myeloid ridge area is there, na? since this area myeloid prominence is kind of D1, D2 kind of bone, BCS are better, that is basal cortical screws are better compared to the compressive implants. Okay. You can place the compressive implants also, but the thing is, the bone should be good there to compress the bone. If there is no bone to compress, how can you place the compressive implant, right? So, you can place both, BCS as well as compressive. Compressive is one, there is a good bone to compress, otherwise, you go for BCS. BCS is always good, in BCS you can place it in all the areas. So, this is the lingual bypass. Usually, IAN runs in the middle of the mandible, more towards buccally it runs, okay. So, the lingual bypass is over. Uh, I will explain in brief how to do buccal bypass. So, this is your buccal border of the mandible. Buccal bypass, you can do Sometimes from the buccal edge itself. Can you see? Sorry. You can bypass from the buccal edge itself. You can bypass, you can drill it this way. It's almost buccal bypass is sometimes straight only. This is one type of buccal bypass where you start from the buccal itself, little bit straight only, only 10 to 15 degrees angulated. Then place this way. Usually, IAN passes in the middle. So, this way I have drilled it. 
is totally buckle ian will be in this middle so you have bypass the ian from the buckle side of ian right so one more thing is take out this thing right so buckle bypass also can be done from the lingual side that is from this side lingual towards the buckle this way also you can do but you have to bend it more here that's what i'm telling so this is your lingual edge i'll start the buckle bypass from the lingual towards the buckle this is the buckle bypass Can you see? Can you see? This is your uh, lingual surface from the lingual edge, and the drill has come from the buckle side. The drill has came out from the buckle. This is your buckle surface, and drill was from the lingual. This is your buckle surface. So this way, right? So this is a few simple techniques how to bypass IIN during the placement of basal screws, basal implants in the mandibular area. So all these bypass technique is because of the importance of IIN. inferior alveolar nerve which is a branch of mandibular nerve uh, so so this is the area of importance in all other areas see see this is the mental foramen and this area also should be careful careful in the sense you have to avoid that uh, mental foramen area and here also you should angulate you better angulate towards uh, the canine or towards the molar and you just leave that mental foramen area so how to lateralize or how to bypass iin for the placement of implants in the mandibular region so these are the main techniques thank you so much for watching this video